Hi YouTube. Welcome to Tuesday Night Coffee Chatters Table Talk with Valerie from White Girls World. I need to tell you that I'm really sorry for the amateur videos, but I'm ordering a Kodak Z18, which is in high definition. So you'll be able to see all the great videos in high definition. But anyways, I'm sure you guys noticed something different about me. Yes, my hair. My hair. And I have a little story about what I went through with my hair in the last two weeks. Okay, I got, I got, did some wig reviews, which I love my wigs. Don't get me wrong, but I can't wear them every day because they're just too hot. So, I had black hair and I dyed it blue black for at least a year. About a year. Gone too. It was a blue black. And, you know, my parents were like, even though I'm 35, my parents were like, um, that's too dark for you, Valerie. You know, natural is always better. But anyways, I, I, ne I don't listen to my parents. I never, never did, never have, but I should have. So, be watching young teen, teenager girls listen to your mom and dad because they know what they're talking about. I didn't listen and I've been to jail, I've been addicted to pain pills, and those are whole different stories. But I went and I had wanted burgundy highlights put in my hair. So I went to some, which I put that up because I did some pooter, pooter video on that. Well, the lady at that salon, you know, she did the best she could. She did the red highlights, burgundy, whatever. Anyways, it came out of my hair, and they were like fire engine red. And she had cut my hair at that time, and it was all like really razored. And I, d I didn't, I just, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I hated it. And I'm sorry, and it was nobody's fault. But I'm always wanting to try different things. But I'm also going through pre-menopause, so when you hit that age, you know, your hormones will go like this, and you just feel crazy, like you're going crazy. But, okay, I said, i got to get rid of these highlights, I want to go back dark. So I went and I bought, I, I bought six boxes of hair color in the last month. So I tried all these dark, medium, brown, and I did the L'Oreal color remover too. And I've done that twice on my hair. Yeah, twice. And in fact, they've been within two weeks of, of each other. And in the last three days, I've had stripped my hair and two permanent <coughs> hair colors on my head in the last, since yesterday till today. Yeah. So, I wanted just a medium brown in my hair. I didn't want black. But every natural brown box color comes out black on my hair. So, I just didn't want black. So, I bought all these boxes of permanent and semi-permanent at Walmart and they were all like natural brown you know medium brown and then I heard the ash and the cool browns will you know help with the red tones because red comes out really bad in my hair and I'm naturally this is the closest I've been to my natural hair color since I was since I started coloring my hair at 15, I was using peroxide, yeah, to go blonde. Mm -hmm. 
And my parents were really happy about that one. It really dried my hair. Anyway, so I tried every method that I see on YouTube of lightening the dark. And none of it would lighten. It just, it wouldn't lighten. I mean, slightly. So I've done all the baking soda, every trick. Vitamin C, I had my husband crush on the pills. You know, look like Vicodin. And get me in trouble. So, and this was in the last two weeks. Um, and so the last couple days, last night and today, I finally, I got a Feria. Feria. It was supposed to be medium brown. But I had stripped my hair for that with the L'Oreal color remover. Which is, does awesome. It's a great color remover, but stripping your hair and all that is terrible. Okay. But I was desperate. I was desperate to get close to my natural as I could. You know, and just let it grow. You know. I mean, this is what it looks like. So what I did was I put Feria on my hair. And it was a medium brown. But I had stripped my hair. So remember that. I stripped my hair, put fairy on, medium brown. It came out a light, light, light brown, orangish, fire looking job, okay? And I didn't know what I was going to do. I had no clue. I couldn't walk around like that. So, I, uh, I had one box of Vidal Sassoon medium cool brown and I had Clairol's semi-permanent which was a medium brown and it didn't have that cool or ash name in there so I was too scared of the red coming out but anyways well, I, I put the Vidal Sassoon on which was another permanent color on top of the Feria and this is what I come out with and it's actually the nicest color I've had out of black and blonde and a brunette with highlights this is what it came out so I think it's kind of sexy, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. what I'm doing is I'm going to let it grow, We're letting all these layers grow, mm -hmm. but I am never ever touching box dye again, um, except to, to you know, to um, freshen up this color, mm -hmm. and if any of y'all know since I had colored all these colors and stripped it and this is what it came out when I did medium brown if I do a medium brown again in a month say I want to, you know, it goes dull and I want if I do the same color will it, you know, go darker or will it just stay this color now that I've got this color and it's not like black and dark brown because those colors confuse me when you're working with hair color so if you guys know let me know below you know if you know anything about coloring and let me know what you think of the hair color and I'm trying to get videos that are more you know upscale and but I knew this is all the first YouTube. Um, my camera, of course, right now I have a C195 Kodak. You know, so we're like talking 80s in 2012 or 13. And I want to um, wish you a happy Halloween. And I'm hoping I can find somebody that will get me help me with the, the whole editing techniques that you guys do because 
your videos are awesome, your faces look awesome, it's all sexy. So, please stay with me and subscribe, and I'm gonna, I wanna go do some nosing on people. And, uh, I need, you know, somebody that can have that sense of humor to go around and film me nosing people. But I think it's hilarious. So, thumbs up for Jack and Ed. And, yeah, so that's my story on my hair. And a little bit about me. So, please subscribe. Stay with me. I'm getting a Z18. So, it's a high definition camera. And we'll be working a little bit with better colors. And I'll be coming at you maybe next Tuesday with some table talk with Valerie. And I want to say stay sober. God bless. You know, Jesus is the only answer that any of us have in this world. So, and do the best you can. Okay? And I'll talk to you later. Bye.